Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm going to be sharing my AM skincare routine. It's pretty comprehensive, but it really doesn't take that long. I promise you. I'm going to walk you through everything I do step by step. It'll be really easy for you to follow. A portion of this video is sponsored by City Beauty, and I'm so excited about that because you guys, they're having their 40% off sale everything on their site and it starts today this is one of my favorite sales all year long 40 percent is a huge discount so if you've been eyeing some of the city beauty products now's the time to jump in the sale runs from the 11th through the 18th so it's a full week long and i'll be sharing my holy grails use all the time city beauty products a little bit later in the video if you're new here i'm so glad you stopped by i'm kimberly this is pretty over 50 where we talk everything makeup skincare and style for the over 50 woman i hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos i'm going to launch right into my am skincare routine today and as always all products that i mentioned today are going to be listed and linked below so super easy for you to find and with that let's hop into it my skincare routine actually starts the minute i wake up <laughs> and i know that sounds overwhelming but I promise you, it's super, super easy. I don't like a lot of fuss in my life. I like things that I have to do to be easy to accomplish, and I don't like them to stress me out. So I really figured out a way to do a fairly comprehensive skincare routine pretty easily. The very first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I put the kettle on for my French press coffee. That water takes about 10 minutes to boil, which is exactly when I sit in front of my red light unit for 10 minutes. It's almost magical how they both take just about the same amount of time. Once the water is boiled, I pour it into my French press, and that's when I go into my bathroom and I do my Nera treatment. The Nera takes me, oh my gosh, maybe a minute and a half at most. It's so very, very quick. By the time I'm done with my Nera, and then I do a couple of other things, maybe unload the dishwasher quickly, or put some things in the dishwasher or some other household chore, my coffee is ready. Once that coffee is brewed, I sit down on the couch, take a few sips, and then that's when I do my radio frequency device, which is my Nebula. I think it takes between 12 and 15 minutes, and I just sort of sip my coffee and do the Nebula. It actually feels so good because it's warm and soothing and just feels lovely on my skin. It's a great way to wake up with a little bit of pampering. Once I'm done with my Nebula, I come into the bathroom and rinse my face off with just plain water and a washcloth, and then I'm ready to do my serums. So magically, I have done three devices, and I barely even started my day and only had my first cup of coffee, so it really does go very, very quickly and smoothly. Once I've rinsed my face off, that's when I'll go in with my Neon Super Oxide Digimutase Saccharide Mist. I love this mist, and I use it most mornings. What this does is it just hydrates my face and puts a very effective layer of antioxidant protection onto my skin. Super quick application, and you can see now I have some nice hydration on my skin, and it's all prepped and ready for my serums. For my morning routine, I alternate between the Buffet from The Ordinary, this has copper peptides in it, and a vitamin C serum. Currently, I'm using the Dermatology Vitamin C Plus E Plus Ferulic Acid. So I'll go back and forth every morning using one one morning and the other the next morning. I don't like to mix these two, that's why I alternate them. And one thing I wanna show you is how I store my skincare in these skinny little buckets. I have my AM skincare in one bucket and my PM skincare in the next bucket. Everything's lined up in order so it's really easy for me to know what to do next because usually, I'm here in the bathroom without my glasses on. I can't see anything. So having my skincare all in order really helps it go quickly and smoothly. Today I'm gonna to be using the Buffet as my first serum. And I just take about half a dropper full into the palm of my hand, rub that around, and then I'm just gonna pat that all over my face, down my neck, onto my decollete, and then 
The rest goes on the backs of my hands. I have a lot of you ask me about my hands and why they don't have age spots on them. The answer is they do a little bit. They're just not very dark. The look of my hands has improved dramatically since I started doing my skincare because everything that goes on my face also goes on the backs of my hands and I think that's really made a difference in their appearance. The next serum that I use in the morning is the Ordinary's Matrixyl. This is a 10% solution with hyaluronic acid. Matrixyl is a high strength peptide formulation and there is some of this in the buffet. I like adding a little bit more because the Ordinary serums are so inexpensive it really is easy to add additional serums into my routine and at a very affordable price. I love peptides in my skincare routine and really love this. Plus the mornings that I use vitamin C, I'm still getting Matrixyl in my skincare routine. So again, I'll just take about a half a dropper full, put it into the palm of my hand, rub that together, and that just gets patted all over my face, down my neck, onto my decollete, and then I finish up on the backs of my hands. And you can see that my skin is looking much more hydrated and plumper already. The last serum that I use in the morning, and I use this morning and evening, is my Argeroline solution. This is my Botox in a bottle. You guys have heard about this a lot lately. I did do a full video on this. If you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and list it up here. You might want to check it out. This is one of my favorite serums. With this particular serum, I want to put it in specific areas of my face. So I'll take about a third of a dropper full, put it into the palm of my hand, and then I'm going to take my two fingers and I'm going to tap it into my 11 areas, kind of where the muscles head into that area in between my eyebrows. So I'll tap it there. And then I also want to tap it around the outside area where my crow's feet are because what I want to do is I want to hit those muscles that affect or create those crow's feet. I don't want to get it in right next to my eye so much as I want it around that muscle area. So I'll just tap that right around that area above my eyebrow and down a little bit on my upper cheek and that's it. With this, I'll go ahead and put it on the backs of my hands because you know what? It has lots of great ingredients that are very good for your skin. Once I've applied that Argeroline, I'll let it sit for about five minutes before I put on my moisturizers because I want that Argeroline to actually absorb into my skin and not be moved around from that specific area when I put my moisturizer on. So I'll generally apply my Argeroline, go and do a little five minute project and come back for my moisturizer. Now that that Argeroline has had a few minutes to set down, it's time for my moisturizer. Currently, I'm working with two different moisturizers and I alternate them back and forth. I love them both. I do like using a variety of skincare in my routines because I feel like it's just helpful for your skin to constantly be introducing different formulations. It really keeps my skin awake and aware and functioning better. I like a variety because each formulation provides something different. Currently for moisturizer, I'm alternating between the ELF Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. I love this, this is so lovely. And the other cream that I'm using right now is the Dermatology peptide night cream. Of course, this is a peptide formulation. This says night cream. I like it for the daytime, so I'll just go back and forth between these two. Today, I'm going to be using the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream, and you can see it's just a nice light cream right in here. I'll get about this much on my fingers and just dot that over my face and down my neck and smooth it in. I love this cream. It is so light and so hydrating and really plays well under makeup. I'll make sure it's really rubbed in down my neck and a little onto my decollete. I like to make sure I get it on my eyelids. To apply that moisturizer, I give it about three to five minutes to really absorb and soak into my skin before the next step. Once my moisturizer has really settled into my skin, that's when I apply the Multi-Action Sculpting Cream from City Beauty. 
And this is a new find in my skincare routine and it kind of happened by accident. City Beauty had sent me a selection of their products to try and I put this away in my cupboard and really didn't think much about it. One evening I thought, you know, I'm just going to apply that. I really didn't have any expectations. I just sort of did it as an offhand thing to try it. About 15 to 20 minutes later, I really noticed a difference in how my skin felt. Well, I came in here in the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, my skin just looked tighter and firmer. And I've used this term before, like more snapped into place. It really was kind of surprising to me. Then I thought, okay, this looks great, but I'm going to bed. So I don't know what good it does to have my skin look snappier at night. I decided to try it during the day. And what I do now is I finish all my serums I put my moisturizer on, let my moisturizer sink in and absorb into my skin. Then I go in with a thin coat of this multi-action sculpting cream and the results are very, very cool. You can see how much I've been loving it. The container is just about empty. Thankfully, I have one as backup. What I do with this is I just take a small amount, about this much, and I place it over the areas of my face and down my neck in a really light coat. And I also make sure that I get it on my eyelids because it seems to just snap everything up and make it look a lot tighter and a lot smoother. It has an interesting effect on my complexion. It almost blurs out my skin and just makes it look a lot smoother and a lot more even. So that just goes all over my face in a very light coat and down my neck. I have found that this creates a wonderful canvas for makeup. It's kind of that smoothing, blurring effect that looks really great. So this multi-action sculpting cream is a new addition to my morning skincare routine that I'm absolutely loving. Another City Beauty product that I really love, and you guys know this, is the Invisicrape Body Balm. And this is what I use on my neck area. It really does serve to help keep the skin on my neck looking a little bit tighter and a little bit firmer. I started using this, gosh, several months back. It was kind of another fluke thing and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna try it. I used it for 30 days and was really surprised at what it did for the skin on my neck. It really does firm and tighten up my chin area and on down to my neck. And I know this because there are times when I've either traveled and not taken this with me or gotten kind of lazy and didn't use it for a few nights and oh my gosh, I can really tell when I haven't been using this consistently. Now, one thing about this is that I do use it very consistently because that's when I see the results. When I stop using it, things start sinking a little bit lower, if you know what I mean. With the Invisicrate Body Balm, I'll generally use this in the evening on my neck. If I'm not going to be putting on makeup during the day, I'll go ahead and use it as well. The reason I don't like to use it on the days that I'm going to be wearing makeup is because it tends to pill up on me, particularly if I get some around my chin area. So today I'm not putting on makeup, I'm just hanging around the house. So I'll go ahead and just put some on my neck and I'll just start with about a quarter size amount and just rub that in, particularly right underneath my chin and then down my neck. This is so hydrating and so moisturizing. Your skin will feel like a baby's butt <laughs> in about a week. It really does feel very good. Any extras, I'll just move it up towards the bottom of my chin area on my face. The Multi-Action Sculpting Cream and the Invisicrate Body Balm, these are two products from City Beauty that I use consistently and really, really love the results that I get from them. City Beauty has a wide range of products. I haven't tried most of them. A couple that other people really seem to like is the Body Sculpt Firming Complex. I haven't really used this consistently, so I don't have any comments about it at this time. I am going to try it during the month of January to see if I can get those wobbly bits on the inside of my upper arms a little less wobbly. So I'll keep you guys posted on my results with this. This is the Body Sculpt Firming Complex. Another new product from City Beauty is the Lid Lifting Treatment. This is to use on your eyelids if they're crepey and loose to kind of help them be a little bit firmer. 
I use this, I didn't see any results on my eyelids. I'm not sure that I have the type of skin on my eyelids that this is targeting. I do know that Mrs. Melissa M here on YouTube, one of my gal pal buddies here, really loves this treatment. It seems to really work for her. I think if you have more crepey skin on your eyelids, this might be something you want to check out, particularly with the 40% off sale. It's just a great way to try out a new formulation. So again, the City Beauty 40% off sale. I love that discount. Starts today and goes for the next week. So if you wanted to give any of these City Beauty products a try, or if you want to restock, this is a good time. Before I finish up with my skincare for the morning, it's time for sunscreen. And lately, this is the sunscreen I'm totally in love with. This is from Dermatology and it's their Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF 44. I love this sunscreen for a couple of reasons. First, it gives such a beautiful look on the skin when you're not wearing makeup. And I'll use this when I'm just hiking or knocking around town for a day. It also plays really, really well under makeup. I'll put about two and a half pumps on the back of my hand and you can see it's a beautiful tint. And that just goes all around my face and down my neck. It's so hydrating and moisturizing and the finish it leaves on the skin is so pretty. And of course, the rest goes on to the backs of my hands. That's my AM skincare routine. It's still early in the morning. I've done all my devices. My skin is prepped, hydrated, and ready for the day and protected with that beautiful sunscreen. This was a lot of fun to share my morning routine with you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and stuff for the over 50 and over 60 women, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just makes my day when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.